Now we're going to solve some logarithmic equations. A logarithmic equation is an equation where x is inside of a logarithm. First kind that we'll run into have logarithms on both sides of an equation. Now if you'll notice this first equation, I have the log base 5 of 4x minus 7 is equal to the log base 5 of x plus 5. Once again, because I see the same expression here and here, this is the log base 5 of both of these, I know that whatever is in the parentheses is going to have to equal each other. I can pretty much ignore the logarithms and just take 4x minus 7 and set it equal to x plus 5 and figure out what that x value might have to be. Well, let's solve for x here. I'd subtract x from both sides and add 7 to both sides and I'd have 3x is equal to 12. Divide by 3 and x must equal 4. Now, the one thing I have to do is I have to be careful with logarithmic equations. Uh, and sometimes we end up with extraneous solutions. Sometimes you get an answer algebraically that works, but when you plug it back in, it doesn't actually come out okay. So if I plug in 4, 4 times 4 is 16, minus 7 is 9. Remember that? And over here, 4 plus 5 is 9. Is it okay to take the log base 5 of 9? Yes, it is. Key being, you can only take a logarithm of a positive number. So that gives us a positive number, we're going to be okay. This next example, same thing, I have log base 5 on both sides, so I can ignore the logarithm and just worry about what's inside. Take 2x minus 7 and set it equal to 3x minus 9. As I solve for x, I'd probably subtract 2x from both sides and add 9 to both sides. To get the constants together over here, well that equals 2, and this side equals just x, so that's convenient. So x is equal to 2. Now, here's a problem. Plug it in and check it out. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 7 is negative 3. And here, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 9 is also negative 3. Now the problem is, the log base 5 of negative 3 is not something that we can do. We can't take the logarithm of a negative number. That would be an unreal thing, and we don't learn about that until a long, long time from now on that. So, this would be an extraneous solution. You'd actually have to say for this one, our answer would have to be that there is no solution. So the only thing we came up with is extraneous, so that means there really isn't an answer to this one. It's unfortunate. Now the next kind of logarithmic equation we're into is one where there's just a logarithm on one side. So we're going to try and get rid of that logarithm by using an inverse property. For example, 4 times the log base 3 of x equals 28. Now before I do anything to get rid of the logarithm, I need to get the logarithm by itself. 4 times this logarithm, well, let's get rid of the 4. Let's divide both sides by 4. So that gives me the log base 3 of x is equal to 7. Now, you could think of this a couple of different ways. If you remember how logarithms work, this logarithm, the log base 3 of x equals 7, means that if I take this base and raise it to this power, I get that number. So you could potentially just know, hey, I can rewrite this as 3 to the 7th, and that must equal x. And that would work out okay. That would be a big number. That's what x is equal to. The other way to think about this is to use inverse operations and get the x by itself. So if you're an algebraic thinker and you like having steps, here's what we would do. I am going to turn the log base 3 of x into an exponent. The base that I'm going to choose is 3. Because I remember from my inverse function properties, if I take 3 raised to the log base 3 of x, this is going to equal just x. I'm undoing the logarithm with an exponential equation. Now, if I do something on one side, I better do the same thing on the other side. So this step is called exponentiating both sides. Turn both sides into an exponent with a base that matches the base of the logarithm. Now, x equals 3 to the 7th. You can type that into a calculator and get a big number. I'll save you the time. Next example. Get the logarithm by itself, okay? Well, we'd have to divide by 5 to make that happen. So the ln of x is equal to 7. Using our step from this problem, we're going to exponentiate both sides again. Let's turn this into an exponent. The key is what base do I use? Well, the ln, the natural logarithm, has a base of e, the natural number, very special number. So e is going to be my base. e raised to the ln of x is equal to just x. And if I do something on one side, better do the same on the other. Take e raised to the seventh power. That one I will show you on your calculator. 
to use e, the special number, e is located right above the division symbol, or there's another one that's e to the x right above the ln key. So what I'm going to do, not the ln, I'm going to take e raised to a power. Well, e is going to be raised to the seventh. I hit enter. I get a big number. I write that down. 1,096 points, roughly 6.3. my answer. So that's solving some logarithmic equations when there's just the logarithm on one side only. Exponentiate both sides to get rid of the logarithm and then solve everything from there.